Okay, today we're going to be talking about adjusting your print delay. So once we've got everything set up and installed on our conveyor here, one of the first things to take a look at is the position of your photo sensor. You'll notice that we have it attached right next to the uh, photo, uh, the photo cell attached right next to the print head. That's to make sure that our delay is as small as we can get it. Um, on this particular instance, the direction of travel for the uh, objects will be going from left to right here. So we've got the sensor uh, so that, uh, on the leading edge so that it detects the product in advance of getting to the print head. So in order to make adjustments, uh, we're going to uh, go to our print settings. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our settings and print settings. Uh, make sure that our speed is already uh, set. Uh, the conveyor speed is already set. We're only going to want to change one variable at a time. Uh, so we're going to be working on the interval. That's our print delay. Uh, we already have our direction set. I've done some testing to make sure that the uh, direction of print is correct. Uh, then, so any other changes that we need to make, oh, we're only going to come in this screen and change the interval here. Um, anything, anything else will change after we get the interval adjusted correctly. So we'll click OK here. Hit the print button, make sure that everything is uh, verified there, and now we're going to turn on our conveyor, get that moving, and we're going to adjust our box here so that it uh, gets right in line. And let's take a look here real quick, and we'll notice that we didn't get all of it on there. Uh, so. What we're going to do then is make sure we turn our print off. Then we're going to go to our settings and print settings. And we're going to make a nice big adjustment here to see what that does for us here. Since we were on the box, we were at 50, we're going to make it 75, and we're just going to see what sort of move that makes for us. Now, I'm going to use the same side of the box I had printed on just so that way I can see just how far over it moved and completely messed that one up. Let's try that again. We'll have to edit that out later. And let's try that one more time. All right, so here we can see that we got some movement, but it's not in the center of the box where we want it. But with the speed and distance of everything there, in order to move it over on this size of box, we're going to have to make another nice large adjustment. So we'll make sure to turn our print off, get our settings, and print settings, and we're going to make another nice large adjustment here. So this time, we're going to take it up another 50, see if we can't move it way over, and then we'll fine tune it a little bit after that. Hopefully this time it'll be on the other end of the box. Make sure we turn our print on. And we're going to run another sample here. All right. You see we got a nice big move there. And so now we would want to center that in the box. We'll do one more here. We're going to go to our print settings. And we're going to reduce that down a little bit. And we take it all the way down to 125. Make sure we save it by clicking OK. Turn our print back on so we can update the changes. This time I'm going to switch over to the clean side of the box. And look at there. Nice and centered. So it takes a couple of times. Uh, don't, uh, don't be scared to reset and kind of start all over again. But always make sure that when we're making those adjustments, we keep the photo cell in the same position. Uh, and that way you don't have to make any other adjustments. That is setting your print delay.